Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. Well, good evening. It is the Earthmaster here on this Christmas Eve, uh, December 24th, 2023. It's about 9.36 here, p.m. California time. Uh, latest activity looks like a 2.0 into the Alaska region. Uh, Give them a quick uh, update here across the Iceland region here. Only shown about uh, 13 earthquakes or so in the last 12 hours. So no major uptick. No major changes have been noted here. Uh, across the area obviously we're still seeing some elevated gps conditions here inflation continuing here uh, after this most recent eruption there around the hagafell region so we're just kind of continuing to watch that we'll keep checking back on that if anything changes uh, i did see uh look at this earthquake out here some deep earthquake movement taking place uh, just south of tokyo japan it is on the northwestern corner here of the uh, Philip, Filipino plate, which is this one right here. Looks like uh, that's a pretty deep one, almost 333 kilometers deep. There's that number, 333. Uh, definitely got to watch this area due to the elevated movement out here in the last couple days. It looks like this uh, northern region may want to move a little bit, so keep an eye. Deeper movement does uh, definitely add some further strain here uh, across this region, so just keep an eye on the area. Um, for the rest of the region down here, let's see what we got. Uh, your typical movement out here in the Indonesia Islands area. Still lacking activity here between Solomon, uh, between the Solomon Islands and uh, around this little bend here. Uh, although Vanuatu area has seen a little bit of activity, still kind of lacking some movement here across this uh, plate boundary. So we continue to watch that for some movement as well. Uh, the region up here in Alaska seeing a little swarming going on here. Uh, well southeast of Perryville. It is on the Aleutian Trench here. A couple smaller earthquakes in the last 24 hours there. Uh, nothing major going on, though, for the most part up in Alaska. Uh, the Pacific Northwest had that four-pointer earlier this morning, 52 kilometers deep. Uh, that goes along with the tremor activity that we're seeing here uh, in the last 24 hours. Let me make sure I got the most recent update here. Uh, 67 epicenters of tremor that is in the uh, northern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, that earthquake strike in somewhere around that same area. Uh, so definitely keep an eye on this region. Um, could see some further deep movement. I know this area up here does see some uh, somewhat large earthquakes, not only at the subduction zone and a couple other fault systems, but down deep into the Cascadia subduction zone. Sometimes they get those uh, deeper ones where the trimmer tends to get stuck uh, down there, so to speak. All right, uh, one earthquake way out here in the Blanco fracture zone. That's going to be a little 3.3. Um, far as the rest of the West Coast goes, looking at, uh, for the most part, minimal movement. Not seeing anything major going on out here across the West Coast for now. Uh, one little earthquake. Um down in Fontana, that's a 2.7, about four kilometers deep or so in this little crunched up zone, so to speak, of faults and plate boundary here. Uh, aside from that, most of the movement looks to be generally small microquake activity out here today. And uh, of course, the oil fields out here in Texas still seeing some movement. Puerto Rico Trench still swarming out here. Goodness, um, last seven days of activity. Look at that, a couple different swarms here. I did have somewhat of a, a moderate earthquake out here, uh, just west on the Puerto Rico Trench region, that 5.3 from a couple days ago, and a couple other swarms here. Uh, not a whole lot in the center portion here, but uh, we'll continue to watch this area around the Puerto Rico Trench in general, maybe for some further movement. Uh, a little bit of deeper, well, this ain't really deep, but it is into the uh, Middle America Trench here, about 35 kilometers for a 4.4 uh, just off the coast of El Salvador. Uh, South America region here. Let's see what we got in the Earthquake 3D Globe. This is a little bit quiet here for now. Uh, I know last night they had that, uh, oh, what did it get? I think it was came in as a six-pointer and then got downgraded to 5.7 or 5.9. But it uh, looks somewhat quiet across that region for now. The South Sandwich Trench here getting quite a bit of activity stirring up down here. Uh, a couple fours and even a five-pointer. Somewhat equally spread out here across the subduction zone. Uh, this one right here, relatively deep. We'll watch for some further movement out here. Could see some uh, further activity across that region. It comes and goes uh, in that area. 
Uh, let's see what else we got here across the area. New Zealand seeing some... What's that? Odd earthquake out there. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the GeoNet servers here real quick. See what's going on. Not going to make this a super lengthy video because I need to get some sleep. Santa Claus coming early in the morning. Um, let's see here. 2.0, 2.9, 2.2... 2 I don't even know if these guys are... Is this going to be that earthquake here? It uh, looks like that. Yeah, that's going to be a 4.6 coming in uh, to the New Zealand area. 33 kilometers deep. It is kind of a you know, weird zone out there away from the, uh, uh, away from the plate boundary. A little strange earthquake out there for sure. Um, earthquake drums. Let's see if we got anything abnormal going on. No major earthquake swarms. There is the, uh, movement earlier this morning. That's going to be that, um, uh, I think that was that activity along the Kermadec Trench, right? If I remember right. Uh, but for the most part, localized seismic activity there across New Zealand. I've seen, uh, not a whole lot of, uh, not a whole lot. A little small spike of an earthquake here localized to that station, but uh, things look uh, a okay at the moment. Let's see what we got here for the Big Island of Hawaii. Goodness, what happened in, out in the Big Island? Not a lot. <laughs> Only three earthquakes? That's a little rare. Uh, let's go see what's going on here with the tilt meter across the uh, Kilauea Summit region there on the Big Island. That's been going up and up and up and up. Let's see where we're at right now. Not UWD. I need UWE. Uh, looks like we're still going up here, folks. Definitely up there. Kind of well above what we had just seen there previously in uh, early December. So this is another record-breaking um, inflation level. I shouldn't say record-breaking because it's basically just the highest it's been since the 2018 eruption there um, outside of the crater region. So this is... a uh, it's going up, going up and up and up, but uh, we're really not seeing any earthquake activity out there. Um, that would be the key indicator there of maybe seeing some fissure activity opening up here soon. But uh, for the most part, earthquake activity generally, uh, general as we've seen, generally light. All right, uh, anything else major going on out here, folks, that I need to chat about? Uh, doesn't look like it. A handful of earthquakes out here in the Mediterranean. Uh, some movement out there in the Azars and, uh, of course, way down south here. Got some movement in the South Sandwich Trench. Uh, I guess we'll just kind of see how this goes overnight. 4.1 coming in right now, Indonesia Islands area. Keep an eye, though, on this region here with that deeper movement that uh, normally spells trouble for the area upstream there south of Japan. So we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, space weather activity has been somewhat active. Kind of surprised by the uh, M flare activity we've seen here over the last couple days. I wasn't really expecting it, but uh, uh, big sunspot produced some of that activity. Uh, that was the uh, 3529, this little sunspot region down here. Looks like it's growing a little bit of uh, uh, growth here within this center core portion. Separation here, but this area looks like it's growing. Uh, so we could see some further flaring within that. Uh, but aside from that, I'm really not seeing anything major complex out here. And out around the eastern limb, doesn't look like too much coming in. Uh, right now, 99% chance for a C flare, M flare at 35, X flare around 5% chance or so. And uh, for the auroras, well, you got it. Not a whole lot going on there. A quick glance at the numerical models here. Got some rain coming into the south, it looks like. Our next system out in the... Uh, California area will be about Wednesday or so, Wednesday into Thursday, uh, bringing with it uh, some rainfall, not anything like what we've seen last time, but there's another storm behind that for the weekend. And uh, after that, looks like Southern California gets a good dose of rain as we head into the new year. Uh, wow, looks like they looks like they get uh, a lot of rain. Hey, don't forget about Northern California here. Goodness, look at that. Storm after storm hitting the south. That's not good. I mean, that's good for them, but uh, we need some weather up here as well. All right, uh, folks, I'm going to call it a night. Uh, hope everyone has a, uh, a good evening and having uh, um, spending quality time with the family and whatnot. Did some family activities today, and then we'll do some more tomorrow. 
But we will catch you guys back here early in the morning here for uh, another update. Until then, stay safe out there, and we'll catch you guys back here tomorrow sometime. Peace out.